That's an image. Yeah. That is not me. I can't take me out and say, shape it up. Welcome. All right. Katie, Byron, Katie, Byron, all the above. Yep. Here we are. Yep. I am very excited for this conversation. I read your book, Loving What Is, uh, recently, I would say a couple months ago. And I thought it was absolutely amazing, as a lot of people do. I, I, like I told you, I first got sort of recommended it by um, Daniel Amen, Dr. Amen, who was on the podcast also. And he just tied in your four questions, which we'll talk about. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And so I read the book. And obviously the book is much deeper than that, much more. You know, there's much more to it than, than just those four questions. But I am so excited to be able to chat with you and oh, just good, pick your brain. And thank you so much for good, doing this. Good. I love that, that we'd want to pick my brain so uh, I can see what's in there too. Yes, big time. Yeah. We'll both explore together. Yeah. Um, so my obvious first question is just how did you even – to this point, how did you get to this point of becoming an author? Were you always interested in this type of information? What was your life like before this? Like, can you kind of paint that picture for me of how <laughs> so, you? So, what was my life like before? It was, um, um, you know, mother, wife, mother of three, and and um, raising children, and then depression hit, uh. and it was so deep. You know, it was a full blown thing, suicidal. It was painful to even breathe. It lasted for over a decade. Jeez. It was agoraphobia was involved with it. So it became so, um, you know, just so crazy that I was unable to leave my bedroom. Yeah. I gained a massive ab- amount of weight. Um, not funny, yeah. not funny, horrible. Yeah. And, um, and I thought there was no way out. And what age roughly did that start? Uh, from about, I don't know, from like, <laughs> oh my goodness, when I compare my life to my life then and before then, yeah. it was like it started when I was born or something. Yes, I yes. No, yes. the world was always uh, confusing for, for, I think, for all of us in one way or another, yeah. but confusing. Yeah. But um, I would have told you on... on in, in many points that I really had my stuff together, you yeah. know, but um, of course. but then the crash, yep. and it was a long crash, and and so what happened, you know, there was there was there was no way out. Yeah. So one day, one morning, as I lay sleeping on the floor, yeah. and I was on the floor because I didn't believe that I was worthy enough to sleep in the bed. So I actually slept beside my bed on the floor. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so as I lay sleeping on the floor, <laughs> actually a bug crawled over my foot. Yeah. And I opened my eyes and I opened them so quick, so quickly and without a start, you know, from a dead sleep to open. Yep. And there was a space there that the ego couldn't grab quickly enough uh-huh. to fill the space. And I saw in that moment, it, it's, it was, um, you know, not a lot of words for this, yeah. but I was from the floor in that space prior to ego, there was nothing. It was, it was like a, if there were a sound to it, it was just like this a hum, just yeah. steady, but there was no sound. But it was this even, like watching, awake, just, just, and, and I can only tell this at hindsight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In hindsight. So there was a window that I could see out of as I lay on the floor, and out of the window, it went from nothing to I could see clouds and a tree. And I could see the sky, yeah. and I could see the ceiling, and I could see the floor, and all of a sudden the world came into existence, just like, just like that. And but what happened was it had no meaning, and then I noticed that the mind, we could say the ego mind, yeah. or whatever we want to call mind, began to name it, and then naming the apparent object like sky. Yeah. When the name hit it, that's when it came into 
being so Chris, I saw how the world was created. Yeah. It was amazing, and it was so clear that that you know that was like thirty two years ago or something, and yeah. it's still just as miraculously beautiful as I was shown there. Yeah. And I saw that other than what I was thinking and believing about life, I saw the gift of life. Yeah. And I, 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 this world, you know, clearly, um, someone said, I think Socrates said, um, that um, an unquestioned life is not worth living. Yeah. So that's why I bring inquiry to the world, because how am I going to, to, to verbally put someone into the experience when they ask me what happened? Yeah. And what happened was I was unrecognizable to my children, to Instantly. my husband. Instantly, it was, it was like there was the mother and the wife with a body that was recognizable, but that was it. It ended there. Yeah. And my husband, it, it was it was difficult for him because it was he would go through the house saying, "Who are you? It's not fair. I didn't marry you. Where's my wife? I want her." I mean, it was, and the compassion that I would experience for him, and the 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 listening, and and my children loved it, but they didn't trust it. Yeah. And because when you're agoraphobic like that and you're depressed, you're not the most loving, caring, yeah. <laughs> most understanding human being in the world. And that's the mother they had. Yeah. So they loved it, but they didn't trust it. So there was a lot of tiptoeing around, waiting for, for you know, she's back. Yeah, yeah, Like some kind of horror movie in comparison. Yes. And so uh, word began to spread that there was, um, there, you know, I was started getting calls just from nothing. There was, you know, internet was just, it wasn't even taking off yet. Yeah. You know, it was just such a baby state, 1986. Yeah, and, yeah. and so, but um, it just started, it started, you know, I would get calls from all over the world. And I didn't know what they were talking about, but I knew whatever this was, um, anyone that was interested, interested it must belong to them yeah and and what are you going to do with it you and know? how were they calling like were you starting to put out information or were you starting to tell your story or how did it, they even know no, it just it just i you know evidently it just went from my children's friends to their parents yeah. to their aunts and uncles to their relatives um and and you know all over the i i have no idea but i started getting these calls it was it was crazy because i didn't there was, you know, I, I didn't really understand um, um, what the gift was. I yeah. just knew that that it was given, and so it belonged to everyone. There was no price tag on it, yeah. so um, it it had to be. It, it it had to be. If if I have it, everyone's got it, yeah. and so you know, it's very clear to me that uh, no one um, is. Um, has any more grace than another, and no one has more, um, on no more, we could say, no one is wiser. No one is wiser than another human being. Yeah. But what we're believing about ourselves, other people, the world, life, yeah. that we can question. Yeah. Because that identifies us, it identifies the world, and so that's the world we live in. So no two people actually live in the same world. Yeah. Yeah. Even, you know, in every language in the world, it doesn't matter what we're thinking and believing. There are no new, yeah. Yeah. there are no new stressful thoughts. They're recycled over and over in yeah. every language. What do you, like, <clears throat> have you tried to gather any rational explanation for what happened that day? Or do you not even, you don't bother with that? Because, you know, it, obviously. It, it, it's like this cockroach called over my foot. I'm yeah. kind of dead asleep. Yeah. And the ego wasn't quick enough to grab it. Yeah, yeah. And so there was that space. And you just, yeah. God, and, gosh. and and it was, you know, it's, you know, I'm still in that space. Yeah, how wild. I saw it clearly. It's as, as though something woke up because it, I, I, you know, it, it's, it was too painful to bear maybe. Yeah. 
I don't know. I, I, I don't have any idea, yeah. Chris. But uh, I do know that um, it's a gift worth sharing as long as someone's interested. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, that's and why I ask you, what, 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 what do you want me on here for? Do you know what yeah. I do? <laughs> yeah, I walked in and said I was excited. Yeah. And you're like, why are you excited? <laughs> and so your kids, obviously, like you said, were they like, okay, did you read? Like some Tony Robbins book, or like what happened? <laughs> oh, like where did this? Like, oh my like God! What, what I they? was reading. Okay, I was reading. You know, there's something wrong with me. My children don't care about me. Life is too hard. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I was just, you know, I was just stuck in this this hardcore mindset. Yeah, you yeah. have a side of it says mindset is everything. Yes, you yes. know, oh my goodness. Yep. <laughs> yes. yep. Yep. You get that. Um okay, so then how did you like take me from having that moment, having sort of this this moment of clarity or, or whatever you want to call it, and then actually being able to formulate it into books and being able to work with people on stage like how did you make it a thing people well you know people would say you know what happened what is the shift yeah you know you know how, how did you they wanted to know how yeah. and 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 what and there's no it, what can i say this is not something that can be taught yeah. because this is something we all share equally and, um, and as I said earlier, no new stressful thoughts. So when people said, um, say, I want to be free, you know, I want to be free, and, and they would sob and cry, and, and all I could do is listen and experience, because there's nothing, what am I going to do, give advice? Yeah, you know, yeah. what, what, yeah. we've got a lot of that running around this planet. Yeah. And, and so I gave them and continue to give in reverse yep. what I was shown on the floor. Like someone says, um, I, my life is hopeless. Yep. And, um, and so is it true? Four questions yeah. and then opposites. And then I, I just offer inquiry to people. So I would say, can you, is it true? Can you really know that it's true that your life is hopeless? Yep. Yes, 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 okay. And I say, okay, so how do you react? Close your eyes and get really still and notice what happens when you believe the thought your life is hopeless. Now, I know where their mind's going to go. It's going to go to the proof. Yeah. He doesn't love me anymore. I'm, there's something wrong with me. I lost my job. I've got cancer. I only have two weeks to live. My children hate me. Yeah. I mean, they can see. And, and, and where's their proof? They see this image of that man not loving them and those children detesting them and yeah. they see the boss that fired them. We see that in our mind's eye, yeah. you know, like the story of the past. Yeah. And then they see the story of the future. You know, we're image, we're being imaged. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so they see the story of the future. Well, no one will ever love them again. They'll never get another job. And, and all the shame of the people that work the, in that company and when they see them on the street. So now they're afraid to leave their home. They're yeah. too humiliated. So we see this, this, these stories of past, future, this mindset we're in, the only proof we've got are these images in our head, remember on the floor, the images, yeah. and then the story we the the story we believe onto the images, yeah. and then we really believe that's us, our life, yeah. and then the depression or the fear or the the, the, the things that stop us in our life. Yeah. Now, when I go to that that third question, notice how you react when you believe the thought. Yeah. And your listeners, your viewers, when they get really still, then they can see what I just described, like he doesn't care about me. How do I react when I believe the thought? You see that image of where he said, I don't love you anymore. And we see that image where we'll never see him again, etc. cetera. And, and that's how we react when we believe the thought. Now, that's a movie. It's like we have daydreams. I mean, night dream, nightmares. Well, these are like daymares or daydreams, and they're going on all the time. So, but we really think that's us. We see where he said he didn't care about me anymore, and in the future, he's never going to change his mind. Okay, I'm watching that movie. Yeah. Now, Chris, there are there 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 is me being disappointed there. 
and there's me in the future, disappointed, and then I'm here thinking and dreaming this, and the depression. Okay, so, you know, the question, who am I? Okay, well, there's me in the past, me, me in the future, and then there's me here. So we wonder why we're confused in this, this life. That's an image. Yeah. That is not me. I can't take me out and say, shape it up. Yeah. You know, and I can't say, you know, it's, it's crazy. So who am I? I am present whether I'm aware of it or not. That leaves one of me. And in that, I am sane. Because the only thing I ever need to do in my life yeah. can only be done now. And, and I can think, you know, after this podcast, I'll do this and this and this yeah. after sitting with you. Yeah. And, um, and maybe I will, maybe I won't. But I'm aware, like that phone call I have to make with my cell phone, keep the commitment. That's not me. Yeah. I'm present. Yeah. This is my only job. This is all I ever have to do. And I'm doing it well because I am not worried. You want a little fear and terror, get a future. You want a little shame and guilt, get a past. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, and it's, it is, um, it's a false world. Yeah. It's a false world. And we are believers. And, and the life of a believer is hard. Yeah. Yeah. I have, to my mind, more energy and am younger in my late 70s yeah. than I was at 12 and 13 and 16 and 30. And it's, um, it's amazing when we're present yeah. how the energy isn't spent on, the, on, on the, the apparent what was and what will be. Yeah. Would you, so is it safe to say that the majority or all of our mental suffering comes from these stories that we've well, created? Well, <laughs> unless you show me something else. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. No. I wish I could, but I yeah. can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's just the way, it, is it because the events may or may not happen to us? Let's say they do. And it's the meaning that we place on those events that causes us the pain? That's it. So you, so, so what, what we do... What we're believing onto it. Yeah. It's natural to put meaning on, on it, because we're programmed for it. Yeah. But the meaning we put on it, let's just be clear on, on, on that. I don't know what you'd be. Yeah, it's either past or future, yeah. the meaning we're, we're putting on yeah, it, yeah, yeah. or both. So is the goal to put no meaning on it or to put positive meaning on it? On, we put positive meaning on it, yeah. and it's, it, it can give us a little breathing room. Yeah. But in, I'll say, in duality, if you can put positive on it, you're just, you're just you know, saying there's a negative. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. You know? Yeah, so the and, goal is and no we meaning. Know, we know there's a better world, but no, we just, we're stuck in, in the illusion of, yeah. um, of uh, the one we want to leave. So these four questions are just sort of what came up when you started by sharing your experience. Well, it's what I was shown yep. in reverse. Yep. And I, 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 you know, it, this is not a matter of IQ. Yeah. There's no one that cannot do, you know, if I say, what is your name? And you say, Chris, you can do this work. You can, you know how to answer a question. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and so we all have equal, we all have, we all equally have a shot at, being free of, of suffering. Yep. And suffering is, is um, the cause of suffering is one thing. You know, it's what we're thinking and believing. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. There's suffering in the world, there's discontent. And the cause of that is what we're thinking and believing. So just imagine if we got still when we're sad yeah. or hurt or confused and um, or feeling guilty about a situation, something we said and did, yeah. and we just focused on that moment in time where we are, where we said what we said or did what we did that let's say we're ashamed of yeah. or feeling guilty over, and and what did that person say or do that caused me to strike out? Strike out meaning just I could even give them the look, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. nothing else. So <laughs> I'm I'm innocent, but yeah. well, why do I feel so? But someone that, let's say, wronged me. And, and so I would be in that situation where, let's say, he fired me. Yeah. 
And I would be there in my mind's eye. I mean, it's running our life anyway, so just focus there rather than run from there. Yeah, yeah. So, so focus on it, and it doesn't matter if it was 30 years ago, 10 minutes ago, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So just be there now. Identify what you were thinking and believing. Write it down. So we're moving mind to paper. Yeah. Write it down, and then with every judgment, just put it up against these four questions, yeah. turn it around, and the turnarounds are like, he doesn't care about me, turn around, he does care about me. Yeah. Well, he fired me, that can't be true. No, it's like if you're in the shoes, you know, in a shoe store, you see these shoes you love, oh my God, those shoes yeah. you love, and, but do they fit? Yeah. You know, so I'm trying it on, and the office, he does care about me. So I see him, he's firing me, and okay, I'm going to open my mind. I'm going to try that shoe on. I'm not switching from positive to negative. I'm just going to opposites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. does care about me. Okay, I see the look on his face. Okay, oh my gosh. What I'm seeing is he really doesn't want to do this. Hmm. Hmm. What I'm seeing is he sees me really clear me. Yeah. I see why he'd fire me. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm really looking, you know, it's gonna but I'm going to see so much there, it could be I call him back and you can and say, you know, you fired me and you were telling me why and I wasn't listening. I was horrified. Yeah. Would you send in an email because I I don't wanna I don't wanna be someone that ever shortchanges the company. Yeah, yeah. Or brings it down. Yeah. Or and if, if you don't show me, then, then I may do it in, in my, next, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. my next job. But I mean, it just the communication just opens the world up when we sit in this. And sometimes there's only one opposite or turnaround to the concept we're questioning. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there are three or four or five that blow your mind yeah, yeah. And, and, and give you a better life. Yeah. So... Um, and, you know, and, and life can't be too good. Yeah, yeah. And you call it the work. The work. Um, I didn't know what else to call it. Yeah. And um, people didn't like getting still, and they didn't like identifying their thoughts and putting it on paper and looking at it. it it's not for everyone. It's, um, it's, uh, it takes a, a, a lot of suffering. Um, or, uh, and, <laughs> and then some people just love it because they just... They have these inquiring minds, and, and, and they're tapping into genius. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. And do you think that, so you say in the book, like, <laughs> you do the work as many times as you need. So if you need to do it 50 times a day, you do it 50 times a day. If I say, is it true, you know, there's, I have what I call a judge and able worksheet on thework.com. Yeah. How to do this is completely free. All the way through, if I have anything of value, it's free there. Yep. And so that judge and work, she just, um, I'm upset with him because he fired me. Yep. Now, okay, and I'm, I'm there now, and then the next one, I want. Okay, what did I want in that situation? I wanted him to see my value. I wanted him to, to say he wouldn't fire me. Yep. And then the next one is, um, what advice would I offer him? Okay. He should or shouldn't. He shouldn't be so angry. He should give me another chance. He shouldn't treat me so disrespectfully. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking the thoughts that are causing all the suffering in that situation. And um, so I'm really putting my anger or my hurt. That's what rises up because that's the cause of suffering. Yeah. What I'm thinking and believing against a human being, against myself, yeah. against the world. And then uh, the next one is, um, what do I need to be happy in that situation? Okay, I need him to apologize. I need him to tell me it's going to be okay. I need him to say he's going to double my salary. Yeah. Okay, you know, this is my worksheet. Yep. I can, you know, if yeah. it was coming up. Yeah. And, and, um, and then the next one is um, to judge him. You know, he's unfair, he's superficial. He is, uh, he's blind. Yeah. He's a terrible employer. Yeah. And then the last one is, what is it about um, that person or situation you never want to experience again? Um, 
I don't ever want him, um, I, don't, I don't want him to fire me. I never want to be fired again. Yeah. And so now you have the judgment. Yeah. You have the cause of your suffering in that situation. And then you're just going to carry him. And people say, what happened to your job? You know, it was the boss. I mean, there's nothing I could do that was right. Yeah. Terrible employer and really not that great a company. Yeah. Okay, so now look what I'm doing. I'm just spreading cancer all over the world. Yeah. And to clarify for the listener, that what you just explained, it's kind of how you start the process, right? That allows you to kind of dump all of those feelings and oh, bad thoughts on the paper. Absolutely. And then you do the work on those, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay, got it. So take and, me back to, I'm now walking around the world, spreading all my negativity. Mm -hmm. Everything's terrible. Nobody's fair. And now I wonder why people don't want to hang out with me. And I wonder why they start looking at their watches when, when, when we meet and say, oh, you know, and... I'm not good company, yeah. and so and so. I don't think, oh, I'm not good company. I just think there's something wrong with me, and people don't care. People are really heartless. Yeah. People are in too big a hurry. People don't care anymore. All that belongs on paper, yeah. and 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 I have um, a sheet there where um, it'll just walk you through inquiry slowly, just one belief at a time is yeah. what it's called. Yeah. So life is unfair. I just push. You know, I just I just. Go go to the website, just print, and it, it downloads immediately. You don't have to sign up for a newsletter. Nada. You just push it yep. and get your life straight again. Yep. And um, and it would be you take that one judgment, and and it'll it'll that sheet will just guide you all the way through. And just judge your neighbor, write it down, ask four questions, turn it around, try it on, yep. and, um, and no one has to do with it. You start with what's upsetting you the most, right? The thing you can think of. Mm -hmm. And then tell me just... The thing just, that comes up. It'll volunteer yeah, itself. Yeah. We don't even have to. Like when you do your workshops and stuff, you have someone come up, because you do things on stage and all mm -hmm. that, right? Mm -hmm. So someone comes up, you say, what's the, what's the first thing on your mind? Yeah. So then they do that. And then just to clarify, because I really want the listener to make sure they get it in between all this stuff. Tell me exactly what the four questions are in order. Okay. So um, he fired me unjustly. Yep. First question, is it true? Now I'm going to meditate in that. So I'm standing in front of his desk. He called me in. I'm standing there. I'm anchored. Mm -hmm. He um, fired me unjustly. Is it true? So I'm going to contemplate that. Mm -hmm. And we don't always like what arises. Mm -hmm. That's why <laughs> Could I like be, the why second question. Why didn't he fire me like last year yeah. by yeah. all rights, you know? That's why I think the second question is so good. Oh. Because I feel like most people have to say, when you say, is it true, they say, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, because they don't take time to contemplate, yeah. you know, because, you know, it's true. And I believe then everything behind that that we think validates to hold up, it's true. Yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a mindset. That's yeah. how the mind is set. He fired me. I'm not going to say, is it true? It's like my mind, the ego gives me every reason that he should not have. It's, you know, defense is the first act of war. So my mind defends my position. Yeah. Okay, so now I want to, you know, my mind is open because this is painful. Yeah. Okay, so uh, he, he fired me, we'll say he fired me without cause. Is it true? Yeah. Can I absolutely know that it's true he fired me without cause? No, I'm there and, so that's number and I'm two. answering it. Mm -hmm. Number two is can I absolutely know that that's mm -hmm. true? Yep. Got it. And then that third one notice how I react and what happens when I believe the thought he fired me uh, unjustly. Yeah. First, emotions. I see me standing in front of his desk and I'm just oh, sick. It just starts here and I see me looking at him and I see me trying to, you know, fake that this, these emotions are not going on and it's just, uh, yeah. Oh God, how do I react? I'm already sick again. How do I react? I believe the thought he fired me unjustly. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling those emotions. I notice I'm faking it like, like everything's okay. And I notice I'm pretty flip about it. And, and I'm, you know, I've got a, I'm understanding and all of that. And I'm not understanding mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And then that last question. Who would I be in that situation without the thought he's firing me unjustly? Yep. Okay, and this work takes courage. It is for the brave and the bold. Yeah. 
because, you know, the ego is losing its identity every time we do this and our mind's open to it. Yeah. So we become freer and freer, more aware, more aware, more aware. And our life becomes, um, um, well, what happens is um, I can say from experience, no downside to life. Yeah. If someone fires me, I've been, you know, I, it's, it's, um, they're, it, that's happening for me, and it's not something I'm saying. There is a world that opens every time, every time. Oh, there's a world that opens. We have no idea because our minds are in the past, in the future, and yeah. we can't see it when it's right under our nose yeah. sometimes. Or so. And then tell me about, so kind of then the next <clears throat> big one, and this one I think is, it's almost like, I think you can visualize, if you're the listener, you can visualize going through those four things. Is it true? Do you absolutely know it's true? Mm -hmm. Um, how do I feel when I have this thought? Who would I be without this mm -hmm. thought, right? You're like, okay, I, I get that. Mm -hmm. Then the last one that really will get you, it seems like, is the turnaround. Yeah. So tell me how that works. So he fired me unjustly. Okay, so the turnarounds are like a pair of shoes. I'm going to try it on. Never yep. know what I'm going to get. Yep. So uh, fired me unjustly, turn around. He, he fired me justly. Yeah. And so, okay, okay, he fired me. If he told me why he fired me, then and and I'm and and I said I didn't do it. Da, 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 da. Okay, and maybe now I can I can sit in that and and I can begin to see that he's right. Yeah. And then I was totally asleep. I was completely innocent. So what's happening is he's gifting me. Yeah. And to be on a job doing it, you know, just unfair to the company, unfair to myself, and un, un, unfair to to everyone concerned. There's something, all, none of us want to be that way. Yeah. And, and so I begin to look at that. And so I'm sitting in, in this, this wisdom that educates me, that just shows me and shows me and shows me what I did. And then I, I can see, you know, this, this man, for example, I might see he's, he, he really kept me on. What I was doing was so obvious to everyone but me. Yeah. Yeah. And so I might see something like that if, in fact, that were the case. Yeah. And um, um, he fired, you know, he was just and and firing me, um, let's see, what else? And you know, I might even see something like, my God, I hated that job anyway. Yeah. I, I didn't like the job, he really has freed me up. Yeah. And then that starts to loosen and there'd still be some ego left, you yeah. know. And, and um, um, it's, um, I, I stay with this, it's, it's a, the work is on is the invitation to sit in these four questions in a meditative state of mind, yeah. and it's a it's a journey into the self, yeah. and it is ooh, it it may look like the hard way, but it is direct, and it's really fun if yeah. you're interested yeah. in freedom or just how funny and asleep. We are, yeah. you know, we meaning my, myself. Of course, yeah. of course. Let me ask you this too, because I think one of the like, whenever anyone talks about this type of thing, I think the first criticism or the yeah, but moment comes from aren't, so our stories of our past, we now see how that can really be hurting us and weighing us down unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. But isn't it our... It brings, it, br it brings guilt and shame as well. Yeah. And uh, guilt is, it's just the, the most fertile ground for addiction. Yep. Yep. And we're, we're very ad ad addicted. We're all yes. these days. It's yep. just, it's, uh, you know, if, if it, let's say um, if... You swear you're never going to eat chocolate cake again, for example, and and um, and and then all of a sudden you want chocolate cake. You think, well, oh, oh my God, you know. And then then you're compelled, and and then you see an image of image of it on, let's say you're in the living room. You see an image of it sitting on the counter in the kitchen, and you see it so clearly. And yeah. imagine biting into a big juicy lemon right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You feel the physical effects. Mm -hmm. And, and there's no lemon in the room. Yep. And you didn't just taste a lemon, but that's how powerful these images are. Yep. So you see the cake, and, and before you eat the cake, go back in your mind just before the image of the cake hit, or the drug, or the cigarette, or the vape, whatever it is, yep. just before that, notice what were you thinking 
it has to be, and uh, you know, I say has, so everyone will test it themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and prove me wrong, but it has to be something you have said or done that you haven't, that you haven't made right yet. Yeah. And uh, that was hurtful and not, not right within you, not the rest of the world, but by your own standards. And you haven't cleaned it up. Yeah. And so that's what these worksheets are for. Yeah. And so you do your work, and then if you want the cake, do it. But you may be just amazed. So guilt, we don't know where to go with it. Yep. Yep. And we don't even know it's what's going on. We just, all we know is we want, we want cake. We yeah. want, where's my vape? Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. You know, yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. very good modern reference because that's the new problem, right? Well, yeah. But let me ask you this. So here's my question is, isn't, okay, so I don't want to make up these images or these stories about my past. But you have no choice. Well, sure, but let's just say I can cure it, right? Okay. Let's just say I can work it away. A lobotomy. It's gone, right? Yeah. <laughs> or but don't, let's say you've worked it away, okay. But, but what I'm saying is don't you... Isn't it a little bit of ego and a little bit of story and a little bit of imagination that makes us want to go do amazing things? Like, no, no, no. My gosh. If you want to go do amazing things, yeah. what stops you? What stops you? Fear stops you. Yeah. yeah. So you, there's no fear to stop you. So you make a more intelligent decision. Yep. To do it or not to do it, but you're not coming out of a kind of ego that frightens you yeah. away from it, or, or it, you know, the ego will throw up lo roadblocks, and then you're sorry, and then you regret it, and yeah. then you, uh, you know, yeah. it's just, yeah, no, we, you know, just, you know, it, oh my gosh, freedom, yeah. freedom. Let me ask you this: Don't you think that without um, ego, there's no Kobe Bryant? Gosh, I don't know. Yeah, I just wonder. Yeah, I, that's what. And, and I, what I wonder is like everyone. And I, I agree with you for the record. I, I'm not disagreeing with you or, or pushing back even. But I think that a lot of people's resistance is they see, well, it's that thinking that everything that my life sucks now that's going to get me to where I want to yeah. be. And you've written a book and you're mm -hmm. on stage and you had to be driven by some sort of. You know, I was pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you know, everyone uh, wants a better life, and I found one. Mm -hmm. And and I don't have to plan a better life; it's a given. Yeah. And and I've been at this like thirty years, and yeah. and I, I plans are unnecessary. It doesn't mean I don't plan. It says let's, let's say um, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to catch a flight at three p.m. Yeah. And, and I call a car and don't know if it's coming or not. Yeah. But I'm out there with my suitcase. Yeah. And it shows up. It just it blows my mind. Yeah, yeah. And, and then we end up at the airport on time. And then I don't know if the flight's going to be on time or not. And it is or it isn't. And, and what do you it, say if you have a big meeting to get to right, off you, right after you get off the plane and your flight's delayed and now you uh -huh. miss the whole thing and now your next <laughs> book tour might be screwed up what do you oh i mean you're just I, i've been <laughs> spared i've been spared that you know my publisher can deal with that there are people that can deal with that yeah, yeah. and and i've been spared i mean uh, it wouldn't you know everything in this life happens for me yeah. and 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 it works that way for everyone else as well yeah. but we're um we're believing our thoughts it's not right or wrong it's just how the ego um uh, appears to live yeah. and it is fighting for its life I see the ego as a terrified child yeah. I don't see it as an enemy yeah. and it's um, the ego is what we're questioning it goes oh something terrible is going to happen something terrible it's not fair it's not fair and yeah. then it's oh sweetheart is it true yeah. you know just take that take that little ego out and yeah. and just question it and until eventually it, 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 it begins to rest and it finds a home in itself in insane mind that's terrified like an, an identity is it's like this ego is just it's, it's nothing it's mind yeah, yeah, yeah. so it has to the ego never sleeps so it ha, to believe itself as physical form as object yeah. 
it's got to never sleep. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so to question the ego in that terror of I am not this, yeah. Gosh, I hope we're not losing your listeners. But no, no, no. Yeah, but, but to question it, it can just rest. It can just rest in what it trusts. Yeah. So it's where the mind meets the mind, and that is the ultimate end of war. Yeah. The war with the self. And the end of war is where we're sane. It's where we, we, uh, we're available to help people that we would we wouldn't even see we're so blind otherwise. And, and it's not difficult. We don't have to look for them. Yeah. They're everywhere. They're, they're the men on the street. It's the, the man I saw this morning with his cane, and, and the click on the light when it changed didn't, uh, didn't go click. So yeah. he had to stand there and, and miss the light. And I wonder for how long. But, you know, the patience, the presence, and, yeah. and just to walk up and, and remind him the, the light changed. And for him to trust what he knows. And he just waited for the sound anyway. Yeah, and yeah, just, yeah. oh, my gosh, I love that so yeah. much. And, 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 and I crossed the street, you know, for now I have eyes. Yeah. And actually, they're not mine. I had Fuchs dystrophy, and I'm wearing two, I'm wearing two uh, corneas, transplants from two different people. Really? Yeah. That's oh incredible. Oh my God, the dead can dance. Gosh, that's incredible. Yeah. Let me ask you this, because another thing that you say that reminded me when you were talking about the missing the flight scenario, you just put it really well in the book, and I'm not going to do nearly as good of a job, but just... That you're a lover of reality Mm. and Mm -hmm. that what happened is what happened because that's Mm. what was supposed to happen. Mm. And you've dealt with people who, I mean, there was one story in there, someone whose child passed away early and they were devastated. And the way that you explain, even in that, that, that's, I mean, the book's called Loving What Is, right? It's like being able to truly be at peace with whatever happens and not wishing it were different. And that's something that is fundamental in all of this that I wish, when I read it, I'm like, gosh, I, I got to get there, you know, because we're all fighting. Well, I wish that would have happened. Well, we're all there other than what we're thinking and believing yeah. about reality. We are all there. I mean, if we sat in this room and we started looking at the gifts, it, it would we would be here a long time, Chris. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, the way my hand is like this. Look at your hands where they are. Yeah. Did you plan it? Yep. No. I mean, and and you're you're. I mean, look at this. And there's skin, and 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 there there are fingernails, and there's hair, and yeah. then there are people, and there are the lie. I mean, oh my gosh. And if you look at every single thing, it is here in service to you. Yeah. And we don't notice. I mean, this is this is gifting. Yeah. I mean, oh, and it's um, mm, it's um, it, it, it's a beautiful world, yeah, yeah. but the mind would lead us to believe not. Yeah. So again, the cause of all suffering is what we're thinking and believing, and there is um, there's there's a way out of the suffering, and um, and that's good news. There yeah. is a way out of suffering. That's the peace I didn't have. I yeah. thought it was. Um, Drugs. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was love, and I thought it was you know that that, that if he loved me, and, yeah. my, and I thought it was you know having enough money, and I thought no, no, as it turns out, not at all, yeah. not at all, and I love that the world understands how to identify the cause of the suffering that they experience, yeah. and what to do with it, and how simple it can be, yeah. and. Um, and do have a, a kinder world, yeah. a kinder world. You know, if, if, if I'm not okay with my world, Chris, then I need to question what I'm believing about my world. Yep. Because you live in your world. I live in my world. Your viewers live in their world, each of us individually. We all want world peace as far as I know. Yep. And people I've met want world peace, or they say they do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so world peace is within our grasp because we all have our own world. Now, when I am, example, loving what is, yeah. my world, I live in a world of peace. Yeah. And, um, and the people in my world that um, are, are having difficulty, 
I know that other than what they're thinking and believing, they're okay. Yeah. And I'm comforted in that. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, it that's does. It just way doesn't of putting matter. It, that yeah. Other than that, they're okay. Yes, and test it. Yeah, and so would you say? Because I love this, and I think this is something that, to be honest, I started understanding. You know, I would say late in life, meaning a few years ago. That truly, you are in control of nothing but your <laughs> own world, and that your world is the world. And the way that you think about it and the way you perceive it is literally all your control of. So bad news is, oh no, I can't change the world. Mm -hmm. Good news is I can change the world from this seat. Yeah. Do, do you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. Like the boss, let's say the boss fired me yep. and uh, he's out of order in my world. There's something wrong with him. Yeah. And uh, so I do, I do the work and, and in my world is, you know, that terrible thing in my world, it makes sense now. So I took care of my world, yep. and I didn't wait for him to take care of it. There's nothing in my life but gifting. It's for me to catch up with that. So would you so, say that anything wrong, I, I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive, if you now sit and take a look at your whole world, anything wrong needs to go through this I process. Need, nothing's wrong in the world. It's yeah. what I'm thinking and believing yeah, 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 about yeah. the world yeah. that needs to be questioned. Yeah. And I cannot wait for my boss to change his mind, to blah, 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 to make my life better. I have to take responsibility for that. Yep. If there's something in this world that is out of order, I need to take responsibility for that because it's what I'm thinking and believing about that person or situation yep. that is not all right. Yep. So I don't do the work like airy fairy to think positive thoughts about it. Yeah. You know. I've got to know I'm a hard case. I'm a, I am, um, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm extremely open, yeah. but I've got to be shown. Yeah. And, and so, you know, I've come to, to understand the, um, not just the cause of all suffering, but I've, I have landed in a friendly universe. Yep. You know, if, if when we look at what we're thinking and believing about the world and, and people and circumstances, that's the cause of depression, yep. let's say. Yep. Okay, so um, um, I questioned what I'm thinking and believing about the world. It's, it's my responsibility and then see what, what world I have left. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this because this will probably be a common one. If I could think of the most popular one, other than people's unique situations. I'm sitting here listening to this podcast and I'm saying, but listen, Katie, I, our political situation and everyone's so mad and there's racist people everywhere coming out of the woodwork and there's these people and there's those people or whatever your side is. This can't be, how can there be any good to this? Well, I have to I get can, out there. I can tell you this. Yeah. If you know all those those terrible people that are ruining the world, yeah. those politicians, etc., yeah. okay? If I believed what they believed, I would do the same thing. So are they guilty? Do you believe that everyone at the end of the day is trying to do good? Or could they be guilty because we they're... live out of what we believe yep. in the moment? Yep, yep. And here's a way to test it, Chris. You yep. find a find a, a time when you made a decision. No, find a time when you said or did something that that you felt guilty over. Yep. Okay, uh, like a decision that wasn't good for you. Yep. You go to that moment when the decision when you made the decision yep. when it clicked in you. Okay, and you said what you said and you did what you did. Okay. Yep. Now, just prior to saying what you said or did what you did that caused you guilt, yeah. did you have a choice? When you consider what you're believing just oh, before yeah, no, the act. Because no, I did, did what I thought it? was the right And you had no choice. Yeah, yeah. No choice. Yeah. And, and we don't decide what we're going to think. It's a happening. We I don't love decide that too. to breathe. <laughs> it's a given. That's what I love. You say, like, you stop thinking that we're the thinker. The same way we don't sit and think about breathing, thoughts just yeah. come up in us. Yeah, and those meditators, you know, you, you can just sit and say, I'm breathing, is it true? Yeah. And just sit in that. Yeah. Just sit in, I'm breathing, is it true? Yeah. And um, it's, um, it's, um, it's, it's amazing. And then, uh, I'm not breathing. Try that on. I'm not breathing. 
begins to make sense. Yeah. You know, I'm not the breather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, not the, I'm not even the breathe. And what's the immediate lesson mm -hmm. in, once again, I, I apologize <laughs> if I'm sort of approaching the same thing from different angles, but like when you realize, let's just say I grasp the thought that I am not the thinker, and mm -hmm. that all of these thoughts are just sort of coming well, up in and, me. And yeah, if you, you grasp it, meaning you sit, you see, like you, you're meditating, you get still, and then a thought comes in, you know, I th thought that. Yeah. Is it true? And then you just meditate in that. Yeah. You know, I'm the thinker. Is it true? Just like I'm the breather. Yeah. And then something shifts, and if someone says, are you the thinker? You'll say, yeah, what planet are you from? But your feet are in two worlds. It's like here in this, and let's say here on Earth. That's we say. I'm, you know, yeah, I'm breathing. Yeah, you yeah. know, I, I, and and um, I this and I that. But but then there's something inside of you, an awareness that you don't have to prove. You yeah. don't you don't have to make you know like you say I'm not the breather. You know. Yeah. Um, there is something way off with that, you know, yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm enlightened and you're not, and yeah. I just want to prove it. You know, it's a quiet, quiet, so that you are connected to every human being, not more, not less, remaining the student. The whole world is, is I'll, I'll put it, my teacher, so yeah. I, I am left connected. There's, there's, you know, I'm just in this beautiful world as a yeah, student. Yeah. I, I love another quote in there is that the, a lot of times people teach, not in a negative way, you don't mean this in a negative way, but people act like the teacher because they're afraid to be the student. You know, that, that could be any parent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or or yeah. any, any and friend. And we see that now on social says, media, right? What's the matter right? with you? Everyone knows everything. Yeah. You know, you don't see as much of what you were just talking about. But the quiet life. I say all the saints are doing the dishes at home. <laughs> Yeah, I love. I just love that way of looking at it, and that way of remaining in that mindset. You know, let me ask you this: What type of? How often do you do these? Like, I don't know what you, what do you call them, conferences or? Um, oh, I do a nine-day school. That's my favorite. Got it. And it how oh, often is that? Uh, I do maybe three a year. One then, in Europe and two in the States. And how many people usually? Oh, you know, it's nine days, and, and it's, um, the last school was, I think, 440 or something like that. Amazing. And people and, come up know, on And, you know, Stanford stage. came to the last one in the States to, to do a test, and, um, on, on, and they, on depression, yeah. and they, they asked me if they could, could do it, and I had a lot of, you know, I put a lot of limits on it, like, I don't want one exercise interrupted or disturbed, yeah, and yeah. they agreed to it, and because I consider, you know, people take nine days out of their lives and come, that, that they get everything, yeah. you know, that opportunity for everything that we come to life for, you know, it's the, really the school of life of mine, but, but um, they, they um, so they, they got, a list of people who enrolled, and then they sent out um, uh, a questionnaire, you know, if, if you're depressed and you want to be a part of this trial to do it. And, and um, so um, 50 or 60 or so people, I, I, I think, were depressed that had enrolled and want to be a part of the, of the, of the study. And so they had to do the what the e biomes <laughs> like yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. the and um, plus the blood draws yeah. before they came to school and they they went for it and then three blood draws at school and another uh, biome e biome whatever they, yeah. and and blood draw after the school and questionnaires as they go their their um, emotional progress as they experience it but. Um, yeah, the the um, the best we have going, it seems. Um, this is as close as I can recall. The best we, it's on my website, but the, the 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 best we have going in in the world for depression are um, therapy, yeah. and that works better than anything we've got yeah. until you put drugs with it. And if people do drugs and therapy, yeah. the if they people do both, not just one or the other. Yeah. Then, um, sixty-four percent of people um, 
um, recover from depression, yeah. and um, and that's the highest we've got going. Yeah. And the school for the work, these ninety four percent. Gosh, that's what the study showed. They say they're going to have to write uh, rewrite the textbooks from nine days. Gosh, and ongoing. Yeah. They're still testing them. Yeah. And that was last October. And they're still testing them. That's wild. It's how does that wild. feel? That has to, I mean, think about how does that feel from something that just sort of came to you and you, it just it's worked just, its way through it's, you. It's something I was gifted in a, in a space before the ego can grab it. Yeah. You know, when we wake up in the morning, we, we, we think, I, I am, yeah. I'm awake. And you can't believe you're awake if you haven't believed you were asleep. Yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah. and, and the images show you went to bed last night and, and, and there was nothing before you opened your eyes and think, oh, I better turn off the alarm clock before it goes off. And, and oh, I better, I want coffee. I'm going to be late for work. I, 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 I. And then there's me, 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 I, I, I. Yeah. So the ego, boom, 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 just firing, identifying as yeah. human mind identifying as as I, as this 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 uh, made up yeah. character yeah it just has to feel incredible to not only from what you describe in the book the way the mm -hmm. stuff that happens and the conversations and stuff at those events mm -hmm. but having a study mm -hmm. to then back it up has to feel amazing and um, it's um it's it's a uh, it's um, it's nothing that I didn't know, yeah. and it's nice to have it scientifically measured. Yeah. And I think that that's really helpful for people. Yeah. And um, it it gives them courage to step in to um, inquiry yeah. and um, and try it on. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's for everyone. I think we live in a in a world that is so blessed with the internet and, and communication that um, that there are many ways, many ways. And um, um, this just happens to be the way that I was shown. Yep. And what I do know about inquiry is it doesn't matter what practice a person's in, um, inquiry is going to add to it. Yep. It doesn't threaten it in any way. Yep. It, it's, it's just, if if you're feeling down, just identify what you're thinking and believing, and and just follow the simple directions. Yeah. Judge your neighbor, write it down, ask four questions, turn it around, and I love to say or not. <laughs> but you know, there there is a way. That's what I'd like people to know that, that these questions exist, and so do a lot of beautiful ways. Yeah. I love too. And there you say, and we kind of covered it, but. Peace doesn't require two people. No, because I no. think everyone is like, gosh, that you know, relationship, or like you said, boss, or uh, no matter what it is, it's always there's another person. And even at yeah. best, maybe you think, well, I need to go talk it out with that person, but it's still always that other person. I just think the idea of you know the people I love, you know, for example, they come and they say. You are this, and you did that, and you said this, and you did that, 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 that. Yeah. And I'm so connected because, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I said that. Mm -hmm. My gosh, I did that. And would you slow it down because what you're saying is making a lot of sense to me right now. Yeah. And it's like, every judgment I'm looking for. And I may have missed something that they can enlighten me to. Yeah. And that's often the case. And, and, you know, this mouth, you can see it fire. It, it, it fires off. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, um, and, and people hear what I say, and then they believe onto that a meaning. And um, so as they criticize or judge, um, and I grow, and I become more aware of my communication my communication and yep. and clearer than I have been yep. and so the world shows me the way and also they I'd say 99.9% .9 of the feedback I get is it's really lovely yeah, and yeah. Um, as, as far as what people would say um, positive looks like yeah, yeah. and so it encourages me 
to continue to say, yeah, Chris, I'd love to to meet you on on. I'd love to meet you here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. Do you have a favorite? Do you have any um, person that you've worked with? Or, or, or someone at one of your events or anything like that that really stands out to you? Oh, Do you have like that one? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm always yeah, working right? with That's me. True. That's yeah. true. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's a, let's see, this last event I did, I, it, it, I had a four-day event. I called it, 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 I call it the No Body event, and it's a four-day event, and it ended yesterday afternoon. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah. And let's see, who do I work with? You know, I think like when I'm, you know, what came to mind, let's say there's a really, there are people from all over the world yeah. that come to this event. And, and then in front sits one of the most famous people, someone that everyone would recognize. Yeah. And he's just sitting there humble, mind open, just, just not pretending, yeah. just doing his work. And then I say, okay, you know, we've written a worksheet. Everyone pair up, and and there he goes. And he's not the only one. Yeah. And there he goes, just sitting with this woman no one else would sit with, or just sitting with this little this little fourteen year old that that um, sitting there, and she's facilitating him in the question. And he's just you know just and and so is she, and so you can see young children sitting with people in there, you know, like old people, young yeah. people. Yeah. Um, my, um, my granddaughter, someone said yesterday to her, one of, one of the staff that were there, um, um, she's, the, the staff said, oh, darn, you know, I did it wrong. I don't know what's the matter with me. And, and my granddaughter said, you're being mean to yourself. <laughs> and she said, you're my friend. And you're not being nice, you're being mean to yourself, and I want you to don't know that I'm not, I don't have mean friends. <laughs> and she said, just <laughs> blew her mind. Yeah. And, and, and my, my granddaughter was, it was her way of saying, um, notice, yeah. <laughs> notice, yeah. notice, because they're very good friends. Yeah. But um, uh, it was, <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Uh, you know, my 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 children, my grandchildren. We were a rough crowd. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when my children were young, and I was trying to raise them out of a crazy, yeah. crazy, paranoid, depressed head. Yeah. And then when this, you know, this by some grace, yeah. in that moment of open-minded clarity that was shown, I started shifting, my children started shifting, yeah. their friends started shifting, and um, our worlds became kinder. And, and it is like there's no downside. Our life doesn't depend on money or yeah. health. You know, it was, <laughs> oh gosh, I could go on and on with stories. <laughs> what, do you have a, would you say you have a goal like with any of this? Like, is there, mm -hmm. you know, if you look 10 years in the future, is there some goal that you haven't accomplished yet or, or anything like that? Well, my, my job's always, I'm always, it's always accomplished. I've yeah. always, if I, if, you know, if this body died now, then, then it's, you know, it's, it's accomplished. Yeah. But my, my goal, my job is the way I say it, is to make sure that as many people as possible know that the four questions exist and that they're free. Yeah. That no one can, you know, if if someone charged uh, money for those questions on my website, and you know, because I'm dead or something, yeah. it's too late. Yeah. They're running free. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. they're wild as the wind. Yeah. yeah. So you're just doing as much of that as you mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. until time's up. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. What? Um, and if I've done my job well, then um, yeah, time's up. Yeah. 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 And yeah. What? Okay, let me ask you these two. Here's my two big ender questions that I ask everyone. If you could hop in a time machine mm -hmm. and you could go anywhere in your life and tell yourself anything, where do you think you would go and what would you say? Oh, okay. <laughs> so if I could go anywhere in my life, anywhere it'd be in your own life, you could, right here, you kind of right pop now. Up. Yeah. Right here, right now. Yeah. This is the 
best it's ever been. The best. Yeah. And and where would I go and what would... What would you say? What would I say? Yeah. Um, life is good. Yeah, yeah. No downside. That's incredible. And if, if there's a downside, I notice what I'm thinking and believing, I would put it on paper, get really still, question it, yeah. and... Um, and um, and continue to have a good life. Yeah. Um, the questions aren't valuable, though. I will say that there's no value to them. It is the wisdom that they're inviting when that meets the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way. To That's imagine. the enlightenment. Yeah. The questions are are just an invitation. And do you still do you still f- have to catch yourself and consciously? Do the work on yourself, or has it become uh, such a strong muscle now that I you just? Ju- I just um, um, it 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 it's like if you said, Katie, this is the worst podcast I've ever done, and and <laughs> yeah. I and I never, I w- I think you know I've got some improvement to do, and then how can I make it up to him yeah. and. And I want to talk with you on the other side of this. See, you know, maybe you can support me uh, not to hurt the next person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and, uh, and I mean, how is there a do- downside? And, and then if, if you say, you know, I just, you know, I'm done here. Yeah. Then I want to look at the podcast and have my friends look at it or my enemies look at it with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, or yeah. find some if I can. And, and we'll look at it and say, you know, well, well, you know, what am I asleep to? Yeah. What am I asleep to? What if I'm just a jerk? Mm-hmm. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no downside. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you're my right. gosh. Yeah. You know, I, what, is, what would a jerk say? Yeah. What's an example of what a jerk would Well, what say? if I said, oh, this was ter- All right, we'll see ya. Mm-hmm. And I got out, and you said, well, mm-hmm. geez, what could I have done better? What, what if I'm just yeah. an asshole? Or what if I'm having a mm-hmm. shareable day? Or what, you know what I mean? Yeah, I would... I would it, it's like this. I would watch you get up, and I'd say, oh, oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. And, and I would watch you, and i think, oh, my gosh, I, I hope he does better. Yeah. And, and, That's uh, so, man, I wish I could. Anytime someone makes me mad, I wish I could just say, I hope you do better. Yeah. Well, internally, because <laughs> yeah, you sure know. wouldn't want to I say, know, I hope I know, you I do know. better. I know, but it'd be sometimes, <laughs> there's been some times in my life when I would have liked to say that. But compassion is what I'm, yes. I'm, I'm pointing to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and 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 to look at myself, you know, did I do my best? Yeah, and was I hurtful in any way? Did my, you know, it's you know, what can what can I do better? You know, where am I at fault, yeah. basically? And then if I can find it to admit it and make it right. And if he says I never want to hear from you again, I'd um, I might send something, you know, with no way of tracking it. Yeah, and. That I knew, like if baseball was your thing, maybe send you something, like some kind of yeah, thing that you might appreciate. And, yeah. yeah. Okay, here's my last one. If you could prescribe the world, and I'm going to make this a little harder, because I'm going to say that it can't be to ask yourself the four questions. If you could prescribe anything to the whole world for 30 days, and they have to do it, what do they do? So, um, is this legal? Okay. Yeah. Just to identify what you're thinking and believing anytime you're unhappy and question it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that, that's perfect. We did it. We did it? Uh, that was really good. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so oh, glad that we were fun. able to connect and that, like I said, I feel so lucky to be able to read your book and have such mm-hmm. an impact and then be able to sit here and chat with you. Yeah. And you're so, uh, so sharing and I don't know, uh, just the way that you, I'm sure a lot of people are asking for your time and asking mm-hmm. for you to do mm-hmm. some work on them, but I, this is amazing. Yeah, well, I, that's, I, I, um, gosh, you know, I'm a, uh, walking, living, yes, and <laughs> and and your podcasts are just the best. Oh, thank I, you, you know, I don't, but anyway, thank, thank you. you. Well, this thank is another you. amazing one. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh-huh. guys. If you like that and you want to see more like it, as well as vlogs, other web series, and all the random stuff that I'm doing here on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button. You won't regret it. I promise.